having a good time? You're making it. Sounds like fun. They're just kind of rolling along. How's that? Better? They're moving. There you go. There's another one. You need what? Put over that fruit smash? Straight out. Let's get your tail. There's another dolphin straight out. There is a whole pot of it. I'm sitting on your tail. That's not good, Mom. <laughs> That's cool. I can tell that this is only on your face. That's cool. Yeah, Does anybody have an available duck order? Who was that with it? I don't know. I bought some more shit. Yeah, there's the core. I really want one of them to jump. Yep. 
Pull it up in the tree. Is that a albino Burmese? It's a, it's an albino. Yeah, but an albino Burmese python. Yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, here's a gator. Yeah, it is. A little alligator. Ah, it's so tiny. He says he's so cute. Is it cute? <laughs> I, don't, I didn't remember this metal wire. Hmm? Oh, he, just, he just hissed at me. Yes. There's another one, huh? That one's really, really close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is right there. He looks hungry. It's almost my lunch time. Yep, another 10 minutes. But you got ten minutes till the alligator feeding.
Is he just gonna poo? Or? <laughs> I'm not sure what he's doing. Like, yeah, I was gonna move and now I'm not. <laughs> uh, that was interesting. <laughs> not sure what those sounds were <laughs> coming out of him. <laughs> Everyone eating. This one's eating grapes. I want grapes. See, this one's eating grapes. That one's eating some grapes. I don't know if she can see him. He can. Can you see him eating grapes? Oh. <clears throat> Sam is eating grapes. Yeah, her, her looks like grapes. But oh, that's that a tortoise, one, though. That's a tortoise, it's close. Did you see him eating? I see him eating. Yeah, did you see him eating grapes? What is that, that one? That looks like a savanna monitor. Well, whatever it is, one's out. That's an eldo! Yeah, that's a tortoise. He's eating grapes! Let's see, I want to see this monitor. <laughs> it really wants out. Yeah. I can see the monitor too. Yeah, you can see the monitor. No, I see it. Here, the glass is still. So that, that's what bit me. It is? Well, it was a monitor like that, when it but it, it, it was a white throat, not a savanna monitor. Oh. Bit me on the thumb when I was feeding it. Oh. When? When I was in college. Probably gonna like, try to find out. Honey, I'm Daddy. Look at all those turtles. Here, I'll pick you up. Honey, up. Yeah, you got a pretty good view of it. Honey, up, Daddy. Honey, up. Well, I was, I was filming him here. You were filming the lizards. He might come over here to the wall. Yeah, he might try to climb. Oh. The wrong button. Here he comes. Look, he's trying to climb out. She says, I, I see you. I need up. Isn't he cool? I need up. Up. He's trying to get out of there. Feed me, Seymour. Wow, look how big he is. Standing on his tail. I need up. He's going to fall over. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, is okay, that real? What's that what red real? thing? I think that's real. I think it's real. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Foggy. Here, I'll, red. I'll walk around and look at it. Red. Me. What in the world? Ow! Hot! Yeah. I think that's real. Red. I can't really tell. I can't really tell. Thank goodness for the lip. Looks like, a, looks like another monitor of some sort. How many turtles do you see, Ellie? Oh. Ellie, how many turtles do you see? I think that's a frog litter. Two, three. Look them. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Alright, four minutes. Alrighty, let's go look at the gators. He can get out. He's just trying to make some cake. It's cool. Yeah, they feed him up there on that thing. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Set you back down? No. There's lots of gators. Yeah, there's it's lots of gators. The <laughs> there's lots of gators. No, there's no turtles in there. There's only alligators. There's no snakes or turtles. There's only alligators. In here, at least. Ellie, how many gators do you see? Can you count them? Yeah, there's one coming this way. That's awesome. See them? Yeah. There's a tree in the way. I think you realize that it's feeding time. Oh, yeah, they know it's feeding time. That's why they're coming over here. Look, Well, that gator's already in the prime feeding position. I see him. Well, but how many gators are there? Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. He's on the move. Oh, Jesus. Gators on the move. But how many gators do you see? You never told me. You want to go way up there, Ellie? Yeah. All right, we can go up there. <laughs> Going way up high so we can see the alligators. First, let them get some time to get over to the feeding station. Um, but these are American alligators. All around the world, there are 20 different, 24 species of crocodilians. Alligators are not crocodiles, but they are part of the crocodilian family, and there's 24 in total. Here in the United States, we have two crocodilians that are native. The American alligator you see before you, which you can find all the way in Texas, all along the bottom coast. There's a ton in Florida, because Florida's just crazy. Um, and all the way up to South Carolina, North Carolina, you can find them in the bottom parts of Virginia as well, but not too much further up. The other crocodilian we have native here is the American crocodile. We do have a crocodile native to the United States, but it stays down in Florida again, Florida. Uh, but they stay down in Florida in about the southern part of it. They don't come up. Our, these crocodiles cannot handle our colder temperatures like our alligators can. And they can do this by a number of different ways. These animals are reptiles. They are cold-blooded. And that does not mean the blood is actually cold, but these animals are ectothermic. We as humans are endothermic. That's why we eat four meals a day, and every day we eat a lot of food. I don't know about y'all, but I snack a lot. And with all that food we eat, we generate body heat with all that food. That's why we regulate ourselves eternally. We stay at a constant temperature. These animals do not do that. All the food they eat goes to them staying alive, and this allows them to go months at a time without eating. An alligator can go up to almost a whole year without eating at most parts if he gets a good meal. Naturally, in the wild, it'll be anywhere from once a week to once a month and sometimes once a year. Here at the Serpentarium, we give them a little bit of chicken every day, and we do give them other things as well because obviously chicken is not the most healthiest thing. Chicken is just what we feed publicly because most people eat chicken. 
Uh, some people get a little squeamish when we start throwing furry animals and stuff that they actually need. So chicken is just what we give them a little bit every day so y'all can see them and eat and everything. But here at the Serpentarium, we'll feed them until October once it hits around 70 degrees. And once it goes below that, we'll start feeding these animals. These animals are ectothermic, and that also means they need heat to digest their food. If an alligator was to eat during the winter time, that food is just going to stay in their stomach and it will rot and it can't potentially kill them. So we start feeding them around October. Whoa. Whoa. They're getting a little impatient. Um, but we start feeding them around October and we don't feed them again until May. So our alligators go six, six months during the winter time without eating. And you can tell these alligators are not skinny by any means. They are very well adapted to go long periods of time without eating. And that is because, again, these animals are ectothermic. So these animals are breeding, mating, and growing the fastest during the summertime. During the summertime, an alligator can hold its breath for about an hour to an hour and a half because their, heartbeat, their heartbeats are beating pretty quickly. They have a four-chambered heart, just like humans. So they're breathing a whole lot faster. Their metabolism is up because of the heat. During the winter time, it's a different story. They can hold their breaths for longer because their heart rates slow down. Their metabolism slow down because of the cooler temperatures. So an alligator can hold his breath or her for about eight to ten hours um, during any point. So they only come up once or twice a day during the winter time to actually get air. And that is because it's warmer in the water. A bo bottom part of a body of water is warmer than the surface. So during the cold winter days when there's nice and sunny and everything, these animals will come out the bask. And they have a couple things that help them do this. These ridges on their back, these are called scoots. They're also called osteoderm. And what that means is there's bone in that plating. So he or she has an armor plating on their back, and that allows them to stay protected when they're eating and fighting. Not only is it like a sheet of armor, it's also a solar panel. Bone retains heat for longer, so it allows them um, to keep their body temperature up. And that's how they survive out here during the wintertime. The crocodiles cannot do that. They need heat all year long to eat and grow. Uh, but alligators have around 80 teeth in their mouth at any given time, and they lose them all the time. An alligator can go between 3,000 to 4,000 teeth within a lifetime. They are not stuck in sockets like our teeth are. I wish we could lose them and regrow them like that. They're pretty helpful. Mm -hmm. But these animals do it all the time. We find them in the bottom of the ponds, um, and 3,000 to 4,000 teeth. And these animals during the day and nighttime are very different. An alligator during the daytime is a very shy animal. And when I start feeding them, I'm going to talk a little bit about this as to why you should not feed wild alligators. And y'all can see they no I bring food. Um, but during the daytime and nighttime, they're very different. These animals have elliptical pupils. They have those slitted eyes like cats do. So they have very good night vision. This is when they're naturally hunting. And this is the very reason they almost went extinct. Nowadays in the south here, we have around 6 million alligators. So we have a ton of them. But it wasn't always like that back in the day. In the 18 and 1900s, these animals were not protected, so you could go out and hunt them and kill them. And it was very profitable to hunt these animals back in the day. A factory worker could make more in one night than a whole week of working in the factory hunting these animals, selling their leather and meat. So it was very profitable to hunt these animals. It wasn't until 1965 they put protection on alligators, and they've been protected since. You cannot touch, move, do anything with an alligator, and that includes feeding them. And this is the very reason why you do not feed wild alligators. It will only take you one time, whether it be in a baby or an adult, and they will always associate humans with food. And this is what puts people in danger. They are naturally scared of us. We are ugly looking to them. We are big. We are predators to them. And a lot of people eat alligator. We are very much predators to them, even though they are very dangerous. They don't know us. But once you have fed them, they now lose that fear of humans. And that's when they're going to come up to you and not run from you. So if you feed a wild alligator, not only are you putting yourself in danger, but you could potentially harming someone else in the future that comes across that animal. So please don't feed them. And that also means when you feed a wild alligator, they are now considered nuisance alligators by DNR. And that is when DNR goes in, removes them, and destroys them. They do not relocate. They will come back. So they will destroy them if you can feed them. So please don't. So I'm going to start tossing some chicken and talk about them a little bit more. So like I was saying, we do feed them other things. Chicken is just what we feed publicly. So they will get other things. They need bone and whole animal to stay yeah. healthy. They need blood yeah. organs. Look at them go. Go. And even in this murky water, they can find the chicken. Like I was saying, these animals have very good eyesight. And not only do they have good eyesight, but they also have another set of eyelids unlike us. Like humans, they have a top and a bottom eyelid, but they also have one that goes side to side. So when they're going underwater, the heart and their eyes sink back in their head, and that third eyelid goes over it. It's like a clear membrane. It's a bubble form, it allows them to see under the water and also protects their eyes. So while you're watching them while I feed them, you might see them flash that membrane out if they go underwater. There's a red over there.
And we do have males and females, so we will get nests in here. Over, over here on this side, uh, these two alligators sitting over here alone, these are two females. We actually just put all these leaves and pine straw in here, the one sitting on top of it, that's a female. She's about to build her nest. Um, female alligators, once they're ready to build their nest, they'll rake up anything and everything in the pond. We've had a lot of rain lately, so we have to bring that in here for them to be able to nest here. But female alligators will have around 10 to 90 eggs in one nest. And they have so many eggs from the get-go because everything is going to eat these alligators, the eggs and the babies included. Before they hatch out the nest, raccoons and possums usually destroy most nests that are out there. Usually out of two out of three nests are destroyed by these critters. And once they come out the nest, anything and everything will eat them. Larger alligators, the father will eat them as well. Um, larger fish, large birds, anything and everything will eat them because they are defenseless. But they have different means to protect themselves. So one, they have a great mother. These mom alligators, they will stay with their babies for over a year, around a year and a half to protect them while they're still very small. And please, to the younger crowd, if you ever see a baby alligator out in the wild that's only a couple inches long, please leave it alone. If you grab it, it will emit a distress signal, it will chirp, and mom will come running. And she will hurt you over her young, so please leave the babies alone. But um, after they come out of the nest and they've been with mom for a year, these babies are going to grow really quickly. Baby alligators grow super fast. They're going to grow a foot each year for the first five years of their life. So around a five-year alligator is going to be around five years or around five feet if he's been eating or she's been eating pretty good. And once if they're at that length, their growth doesn't stop, but it slows down. After five foot, their growth only goes to a couple inches each year. And at that point, they start getting that bulky alligator weight. Um, and the difference between alligators and crocodiles, uh, we obviously don't have any here in the south. But alligators are going to have that wider snout. And if you look at their teeth, you might not want to get this close to look. But if you look at their teeth, you can see the top part where the mouth is closed. You cannot see their bottom teeth. Crocodiles, you can see the top and bottom, and they have a whole lot slender snout. And usually crocodiles are a whole lot brighter colored as well. Y'all saw our Niles over there. They're a whole lot different looking than these animals, but you won't find them here. But um, does anyone have any questions? What's the bird doing? Not hungry. Uh, the buzzards y'all are seeing, those are residents here in the park. Uh, we call them freeloaders, but they actually do a whole lot for us. The alligators don't bother them. There's two of the buzzards that hang around here. They're actually a male and a female. We have named them Bart and Betty. They're a husband and wife pair. But at 12 o'clock, they're at Green Pond. At 3 o'clock, they come over here to Alligator Alley. These buzzards can't tell time, I promise you. But um, these alligators don't eat them. They know that these birds are scavengers. They eat decomposing things. And they know that these birds got pretty strong stomach acid. So it's not going to kill them if they eat a buzzard, but it will give them a stomach ache. So they leave them alone. And these buzzards will go in every single one of our enclosures except our venomous snake enclosure. They know there's wild snakes in those trees. These birds are not dumb. They know what's in that habitat. So they don't go in the venomous enclosure. They do a lot for us. Any chicken the alligators don't eat, they pick up for us. Um, any dead rats or anything like that that our snakes kill and don't consume, they will clean up for us. They actually do a whole lot in the park for us. And he's trying to get the last bit of chicken. Mm -hmm. But these alligators are actually benefiting wild animals that we have here in the park. So if you look up in the trees in here, there's actually some green herons that make nests in our trees. And they make nests in all of our gator ponds. And they do this because they know the raccoons are not going to climb up these trees with all these alligators in here to get their eggs. So they're actually using our alligators as protection. Um, if you look in the, um, let's see here, this big pom pom tree on the far end, there's actually four baby herons up in there. And if you look, you can see them. The mama's been flying around the day, but they're in there. There's four of them. And again, they use our alligators for protection from these raccoons because they eat anything and everything. But any more questions? I went no. on a little tangent right there. Um, after this, if y'all haven't seen the snake show that was at 11 o'clock this morning, we have our last one at 4 today at that stage y'all passed on the way out here. And then after that, y'all got free run in the park, and thank y'all for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Venomous snakes. Ooh, they're water snakes. Water snakes. Water snakes. Water snakes. Too far. Water snakes. Water snakes. Here, you, you gotta see how she thinks of the water snakes. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Calm down. Well, Kimber Rattle's right there. We'll find some snakes. There's one right down here. Oh, sorry. Got you in the head. And one right over there. What do you think? They're swimming. Yeah, they're swimming snakes. That's a rattlesnake, for sure. What do you think of the swimming snakes? Yep, it's a big snake. Yeah, that's a big snake. There are some big snakes. Alright, let Daddy carry you again for a little bit. I'm dying. Sorry, we gotta trade.
want to ban you at least? Can I have the fan, Ellie? <laughs> it is! I, I, I said we can go sit in the aquarium thing or the, the stadium thing, whatever. For an hour? Oh, hey, look at this tree log. There's a whole bunch of snakes. Oh, there is? Oh! Right there. Oh, yeah. Hey, you see them? see them. <sighs> what do you think of the snakes? <gasps> Yeah, see over there on that branch? There's a whole bunch of rattlesnakes. What do you think of the snakes? Huh? Ellie? Huh? Look over here. What do you think of snakes? What's going there? She won't tell me. What's going there? Poisonous, poisonous nope rigs. Who? You know you're recording, right? Oh, dang. <laughs> Bounce all around. <laughs> Oh well. Let's go see what else we can find. Oh well, that will be one of many perfect memories. Perfect memories. Remember that time Bobby was recording himself putting his mask on? <laughs> Remember the time I got really close to your face in the camera? <laughs> give me a heart attack. Why would I give you a heart attack? I don't know, I just did. Uh, just did. Uh, oh shoot, that's funny. I'm about to roll around in this. Right it's still really warm. Uh, yeah, no, but that mist feels good. Cabbage stems. Oh, these are stems. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's huh. moonshine. Moonshine stuff. Oh boy. Are you moonshining? More snakes. King cobra. That's what we're gonna do after we Okay. Can you see him? Are you tall enough to I'll see him? I'll take that as a confession tape. Yes, I see him. A cobra. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I'm just taking it. I see it. I see it. Look. There's a blue light. Like a... Oh, here's turtles. Here's here. here. Oh, I'm going to quarters. Do you have any quarters? Now? Yeah, I think so. You want to feed them? Yeah. Well, there's a crocodile. Oh, yellow, the white one. And there's crocodiles. No, there's crocodiles over there. These are turtles. Don't turtles. confuse there's her. Turtles. There's crocodiles over there. Here, Ellie, you want to feed the turtles? Yeah. Here, right here. Right here. Where are they? That's the turtle. Looks like they're cleaning the crocodile tank. In our enclosure. Throw it in there. We eat it. Andy, can I have that? No. You got Sarah Blue? Yeah, I'm not done. Please, can I get fanned? Huh? Can I get fanned? What do you think of turtles, Ellie? What do you think of turtles?
Miss Ellie. What do you think of turtles? Okay. Keep being turtles. Uh, what is this? Our fourth or fifth time? Fourth time. What's that? Rubbed in. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't usually bring the camera, so. <laughs> Never had a waterproof camera before. Get you a waterproof camera? Yeah. Yeah, cheap anymore. Everybody yeah, I know. carrying Everybody cell phones. Up. Yeah, so. I think I think we paid two fifty for the video camera. Well, I just got a new I got a brand new phone the other day. And the phone showed up before my case did. And of course I dropped the phone. It's oh. supposed to be it's supposed to be drop proof, waterproof, yeah. everything proof. And of course it broke and ain't I can't use it so. Oh really? Oh yeah. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Only had the phone like three days. Oh man, that sucks. We don't we don't go out this time of year. We don't go to the Milo. We don't we go to I've been doing that Walmart pickup. Oh yeah. Call it in and go get it. Go to walk around about once a week. You live out here on the island or I don't I haven't been to the Milo in a couple of months. Every time I go by there, there's a lot of people standing out there with the basketball. Like, think how, think how Yeah, they, it's tight in there too. The aisles are real small. Yeah, we bring a cargo trailer down, so I packed half the kitchen oh, yeah. and brought with yeah, us. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> dolphins out there. Is there? Yeah. He's right, the water's super flat today. It's all around here. There's one right there. <laughs> yeah, they're all around right here. Look at that. <laughs> right up by the boat. Lots of video of you in the waves. <laughs> I'm supposed to yell, I'm king of the world. <laughs> That's the same one. Let me, um, <laughs> let me switch you out. Switch you out to a court rig here. I mean, uh, 
Got shrimp. Bottom rig? Yeah. Maybe we'll start looking at it. Is he big enough or not? No. Be Bigger. 15. <laughs> At least 15. Well, he ain't close. No. He might have been 11. <laughs> he might have been 7. Yeah. yeah. 7. Not very big. It's alright, we're capturing memories. Shoot, that one year you caught like, I don't know, 16 shark or something oh, yeah. like that. <laughs> tiny little devils. He's not tiny. That one's not very small, no. Hammerhead. A hammerhead. I don't know that you ever caught a hammerhead before, have you? <laughs> uh, I can't think of sure. <laughs> Hook ain't worth it. <laughs> no, I think you fall good. Yeah. I like my fingers too much to go after a hook like that. <laughs> Nice. Bonnet head. Are y'all keeping? Do you keep sharks? No. You gonna let them go? You wanna get a picture of them right quick? Ah, I recorded the whole thing. You recorded the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> Picture up. Yeah. Switch hands. Might go under that. Yep. Pretty strong. Got it? Oh, oh, oh. oh. No. Nope. Oh, that's his own gun. Oh, wow. I think I got a picture here. <laughs> of him flying out of my hands? Yeah. It'll be, it'll be priceless. <laughs> <laughs> I think your face was surprised. It was. All right. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> Look, it's a buoy. What is this? Do you I don't know. <laughs> we, we, we had a long discussion about buoys. Huh? We had a long discussion about buoys. Why? I don't know. Is it right for buoys? I don't know. It could be. We got you. Got We're it. gonna fall off the boat. Oh, yeah.
like it when they come to the boat real fast. I think he's got one. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> awesome. Too bad today. Finding some good shells. Should maybe be a little pickier. Yeah, there's lots of shells. Look for some good ones. Yeah. 
not so hot down here, is it? In the evening? There it is, part of the Pelican Patrol. <laughs> A Pelican! Here they come, Pelican Patrol. Flying over our heads. There they go. Pelican Patrol. Pelican Patrol! Pelican Patrol! <laughs> Look at them all go!